I just always wanted to be a parent. It, it was um, one of those deals where I just never thought life would be complete without being a parent at some point. And once we had won, it just has felt natural to go on and on and on. Yeah, yeah it's funny. I always, I always thought about having children myself, but um, when I went through the process of realizing I was gay, it, at that time, I just kind of put that out of my mind. I thought, well, this wasn't going to be a possibility for me. Then I met Steve, and as our relationship grew, the idea of it got more and more exciting, and I kind of caught the fever. <laughs> with, with the first one, and then once you have one child... Ben's our oldest, he's 13 and a half, and we adopted Ben when he was five and a half years old. Um, ben is a really great kid, he has an incredible personality. Funny as anything. <laughs> Sometimes his sense of humor is far beyond his years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very funny. And then our second son is Dion, who is a little over eight years old, and we adopted Dion when he was two and a half. And just to see Dion's face, it tells his personality. Tells his personality. He has a smile that goes from ear to ear. He, uh, the thing that's very endearing about Dion is how he is always seems to be on another planet. You, you're, you, he's in the room, but he's out. He's out someplace else. And then our third is our daughter Amanda, <laughs> and we got Amanda when she was. Nine months. Nine months old. And yeah. from day one, Amanda has tried to rule the house. She, she, she like, does a pretty good job. Very of typical too. woman. Yeah. I uh, tell her all the time she needs to vie for being queen of the house, but she's doing a good job. She's, she's doing a good job. Yeah, and she's that wonderful, wonderful combination of, she's beautiful, feminine, she loves dressing up, and she is as tough as nails. And she, I, I'm so, I, I can hardly, all my kids, but especially her, I can hardly wait to see what she turns out to be. What she's going to be like when she gets to be 16 and 18. She's going to, she's going to do something, make a big impact, I think. Mm, she's making one now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And then our fourth child is Zachary, and he is 11 months. And he is truly a dream. He's an angel. He Just is. An angel. Zachary is the most happy little toddler. All of our children were born drug addicted. Zachary was the first one we went through any withdrawal with, and that was difficult to see. And it was hard for him, it was a hard time, but um, boy, once that was, was over, very it, this is a little boy who was just happy to feel good. He, he's a happy guy. This is my first experience with infant. We, had, we got Zachary when he was two weeks old, and already I missed that stage, because he's on all these 11 months, he's, he's just on the verge of starting to crawl. And it's really gotten me very excited about Mary Grace. All right, so do we go ahead to big band? All right, all right, thanks. Actually, we had talked about it over this last year, whether or not we were going to adopt anymore, and we pretty much made up our minds that we weren't, that we right. thought we were very lucky. We had four great kids, um, basically very healthy kids. Um, the only... The only downside to our family that we thought is if we could create a perfect world within our family, we thought there needed to be another female in the house. And in talking with Amy from Spence Chapin, we've become pretty good friends. And I had said, if you have, a, have an African-American girl that you have to place, you probably won't get a no from us. It was less than a week later that um, Mary Grace came onto the scene for the agency. and. The way that it worked, it all fell into place. And so Mary Grace place. really fell into our laps, truly. Right. Actually, I think the In way fact, we've we all have... described it is, she really tried to come to us. Right.
You tell Pinky you're gonna be a good big sister. You just believe it's something you're born with. It's mm -hmm. something that's there. What it is, if it's a gene, if it's spiritual, if it whatever it is, something that makes you gay is there. You don't feel like it's a bad or a negative thing. When people have said, "What if one of your kids is gay?" We've laughed and said it won't be an issue. And in fact, if any of our kids are straight, we'll, we'll still love them. <laughs> we'll still love them and support them. First time I picked up uh, Ben shortly after he came to live with us, we adopted him, and uh, the kids in the class looked at me and asked Ben, "Well, who's he?" And Ben said, "Very matter of factly, he's my other dad." And uh, I remember this little boy said, "You've got two dads. Cool." It's actually been disappointingly not a huge issue. I mean, I remember when being gay was supposed to be fabulous right. and different. We're actually old it's, news. It's not a big it's deal. It's not a big deal. The yeah. irony yeah. is our life is incredibly traditional and old-fashioned. Yeah. I often will tease my kids driving to school when I'm still in you know, a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt that I may have slept in with the baseball hat on, and I'm driving them to school saying, I was once the prettiest boy at the party. I was once the one dancing all night. Yeah. I used to be so happy because I may have spent, like every other parent, the last half hour yelling at everybody to get out of the house. You know, it's like, it's, you know, to me, a gay lifestyle is, no, it's a parental family lifestyle. You know, like, what, what is the lifestyle of somebody with red hair or blue eyes? It's, to me, it's just, it's my life. I'm feeling very close already to, to, to them, you know, having my baby and taking care of her and everything. So, uh, a very nice family and they look so cute about having raising kids, you know. I'm glad that it's, it's, it's in a nice, nice hands of the family. Now she have extra mothers, she gets extra kids. Yeah. <laughs> Mary Grace? Mary Grace. Okay. Yeah. She's all set. She's all set. Yep. Oh, great. Hey, but what about Zach? Zach was hiding behind us. 